What's up guys, we're here back with another video. So I saw a bunch of forums saying that you always need a higher priced Xbox controller if you want to play the better way on PC with the gamepad. Well, here an Xbox controller costs about $30, which is cheap I would say, but I found these couple of Chinese controllers for a whopping $4. Yes, which only 240 bucks in India. Well, time to test. So this is how the controller looks like, but for the review's sake, we'll first unbox it and then we'll set it up. So this one is an Amigo Double Shock STK in 2009, which is of course, made in China. This is how the box looks like. Before we crack it open, let's look at the back. Those specs though. Let's open them. So these are the contents of the box, of course, not the knife. So we get a driver CD and the controller itself. Talking about the controller, I would say it's not a very heavy nor light, just the weight of an Xbox controller. I like the part that it vibrates too. The build quality can't be expected to the top notch. Yes, it is quite not bad but it has bits and pieces loose, like the analog stick just pops up and the R2 button is just too tight to press. The D-Bad was super mushy and the four buttons were so joined that you can see these wobble. But all the buttons were functioning pretty correctly. The 1, 2, 3, 4, X, Y, A, B, or the triangle, square, circle, X button, whatever you like to say, wasn't mushy and were great to use. Now that the process is done, we can set up this guy now. Well, the setup of it wasn't that great as an Xbox controller, but we did it. The gaming experience was overall great on this thing, considering the low price. All games ran smoothly on this, and the vibration was pretty tactile. And talking about other connectivity like using an OTG cable, no, it's not gonna work there. At least on my controller, I was about to play Asphalt on it and it didn't work at all. But that's about it for the video, hope you liked the video on this thing, links below if you're interested. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.